Hello and welcome to this week's Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. On this week's show, I shall be chatting to the ultra-talented local legend of the Leicestershire music scene, Kenny Wilson, who also plays guitar and writes songs and sings. And we'll also be playing plenty of homegrown music by local bands. Hello, I hope you're all well and having a great week. Let's kick things off on today's little show with one of last year's guests. It's Ben Steer and Indestructible. So much anger I've been taught to explode But don't stand near me or get hit by trip, no I never asked for us to part and just go But now you're acting just like I'm indestructible, no I'm glad you asked, I'm having so, 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 so much fun Well, that's a lie, but you're not gonna check it Cleared your conscience, I'm not sad and pathetic Ooh, I gotta run I'm tired of this conversation that I've never won Ooh, that being said At least bluff my pillow still imprinted with your head I saw my Jagger wrap it up to explode Of an action from your past attraction I gotta run I'm tired of this conversation That I've never won That being said At least pull up my pillow Still in front of your head There's so much anger I've been up to explode Don't sit near me or get hit by trip No, I never asked for a support And just go But now you're acting just That was Ben Steer and Indestructible. Here's a band that I'm going to see tonight at the Donkey, just up Welford Road in sunny Leicester. Uh, that's on Thursday 24th of February, so that's tonight at the Donkey. It's uh, Chambers and supported by Code Switch Theory, who I spoke to a couple of weeks ago, and the Clarendons. So here's Chambers and Gypsy Corner. <laughs> Oh, 
That was Chambers and Gypsy Corner. Can't wait to see them tonight at the lovely, lovely Donkey. It's had a bit of a refurb since I went there last, which was probably last year sometime. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. Meanwhile, here's a little bit of Factory Girls and Windswept. Wonderful Factory Girls and Windswept. Okay, so now it's time for this week's interview where I'm chatting to the multi-talented local legend of the local music scene, Kenny Wilson. But first of all, we'll start off with one of his songs, Marlon Brando and James Dean. Spend my days in the city Reading books and drinking wine But the teenage revolution 
happened long before my time. Marlon Brando and James Dean. See them on the silver screen. Ain't it just like a dream? Ain't it just like a dream? I was born in suburbia On the right side of the tracks It's so hard to live with security The rebel knows what he lacks Paul and Brando and James Dean See them on the silver screen Ain't it just like a dream? Ain't it just like a dream? I've dreamed of being a poet And a rock and roll star But I found the best it's just to be what you are Marlon Brando and James Dean See them on the silver screen Ain't it just like a dream? Ain't it just like a dream? Marlon Brando and James Dean I guess you know what I mean I saw them on the silver screen It was just like a dream That was Marlon Brando and James Dean by local music scene legend, the multi-talented Kenny Wilson, who is my extra special guest on this week's show. Hello, Kenny. How, how the devil are you today? Uh, hello. and Yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing, doing well, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> Excellent. Good. Great to hear it. And thank you very much for coming on my little show and spending some time out to chat with me today great to speak to you because of course i saw you a couple of years ago in your parisian swing um role at the lovely lovely musician but you also do a few other bits you sing a songwriter presumably primarily sing a songwriter is that correct that's right yeah, that's correct and and just briefly what other roles musical roles do you do uh well uh I, well i play the accordion i play the clarinet i'm a singer guitarist and also, I do call in for Kaylee dances, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm part of a Kaylee, Kaylee band called the White Rabbit uh, Kaylee Band. I also do call in with uh, with uh, Gavannon, you know, famous sort of, you know, Leicestershire group Gavannon. And also, I, I used to do a lot of call in with the Malarkey Kaylee Band, but that's actually not going at the moment. By Kaylee uh, Band, do excuse me, but by Kaylee Band, you mean sort of like a barn dance? type band, that's right, right. Yeah, yeah 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 so barn dance yeah barn dance Kay yeah uh, kaylee is uh like an uh, yeah ba yeah irish sort of scottish type bass type thing but uh yeah so you know jigs and reels and uh you know doing folk dancing that sort of thing brilliant i must admit i've been to a couple of uh barn dances not not for quite a while now but i have been to some a few years back they're absolutely brilliant so by caller you mean you're the one that sort of gives the instructions Oh yeah, I, I actually give the instructions to the dancers and and you know keep the whole night going. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, do a lot of do do a lot of uh, yeah. Well, social days. I do a lot of weddings. Actually, I mean, it's very it's a very popular thing for weddings. So uh, you know, that's quite quite busy during the year doing weddings. Excellent, and it's all quite jolly music, isn't it? As well, I love barn dances or Kaylee bands. 
it's great fun you know it's great fun it mixes everybody up you know if, if you've got people who don't know each other very well it's a, a yeah. real icebreaker so it's a good thing to do yeah very it good is. Great. but the music's a bit of a contrast now to your solo stuff i mean we've just played marlin brando and james dean can you tell me how that song came about uh well that was i mean it's actually a song i wrote in the 70s it's you know it's a song that's been around for a long time and it's actually become a bit of a classic it's one of the songs you know when, when i'm doing yeah you because know, the other thing, I, I don't just do sort of folk stuff obviously i i, I do I, probably my main thing is being sort of playing in pubs and and clubs and things over the years and uh and that song is is one it's, it's a bit like mind blown in the wind if you like you know it's it's the one that a lot of people know and it's and it's you know so it's what i do a lot yeah. and uh it was written you know it was, it was written about sort of mid 70s mid to late 70s and um and, and it was based around you know my interest it was uh, one was my interest in in old movies you know old 1950s movies and that sort of thing black and white movies but also it was, it was about you know it came together it was about identity it was linked to other things and uh, and i feel that you know i'm actually sort of saying you know there's something being said in there about personal identity and that sort of thing and, and ambition and that sort of thing. So there's quite a lot of various things happening in there and also a bit of a praise to of rebel without a cause in there as well wow. so I, I am i am very pleased with it as a song and i think you know it has been very popular a lot of people like it so it's yeah. one i do a lot really that's great so so roughly how long have, have you been performing now kenny uh well <laughs> a, a long time you know it's uh i think um i started doing gigs as such in 1968 there's a there's a wow. picture of me which i discovered but it's when i was I, I played the clarinet and i played in a in a, a poetry band with a, a very famous leicester figure at the time called boyd litchfield and uh oh. we had a band we got a band together this, this was in 1968 there's a picture of me on my uh on my blog site actually of, of me with him in 1968 wow. at the phoenix theater in leicester but it, it was it was actually ironically it was, it was one of my successful periods you know we, we played everywhere we played at the roundhouse in london so we were actually very much part of the the, the kind of countercultural scene of, of of the late 60s and so it was a very uh you know a very good introduction to the, to the realms of gigging at that time i wasn't uh songwriting or playing the guitar even i, I was actually a, a clarinetist so how, how did you get into that Did you come from a musical family no no not really no i mean i think uh it was it was just a, you know just a personal interest it's an interest that came about you know i love listening to music when i when i went to school uh in in the first year of secondary school we, we, you know we were given an opportunity we could learn an instrument or play an instrument and uh and play in the band the school had a sort of like uh you know uh wind band and uh so yeah, can, yeah. So I tried various instruments and ended up, you know, choosing the clarinet and ended up playing it in the school band with that. So that's wow. how that's how all that started. Over the years, are there any good things or bad things that bring to mind in in the in the music scene these days compared to when you got into it? Has it changed for the better? or Has it changed for the worst? Yeah, I mean, I, interesting question. I mean, to be honest, I think there's a lot of good things happening now. I think. At the time when I started out, it was it was a very dynamic period of time, and um, and there's a lot happening and a lot happening for the first time. I mean, it was like you know when rock music was created. I mean, uh, uh, one of my best friends at the time was a guy called Mick Finney, who uh, is a famous Leicester guitarist. He lives mm. in Germany now, and and we were we were great great friends. And and he was playing. You know, he, he was starting to get, to get into bands at that time, and I and I was and I was beginning to play the guitar and sort of learn sort of folk songs and that sort of thing. So uh you know as time went by you know there's there's so much happening and, and the whole sort of scene was very much you know was something that was very exciting and new you know that there's new ideas going around and there's also the whole sort of countercultural type thing that the hippie thing we, we were all hippies based like you say right around the 70s very exciting time in the music yeah, thing, well, 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 yeah we, we were creating we were creating our own culture which is uh and i think that's different to now because Although there's a lot happening, there's a lot going on, and there's a lot of very good things going on. I think maybe there's more more good things going on now than there was then. But uh, then it was very sort of concentrated. You know, there's certain places where the music was happening, and uh, and, and and people were very sort of close to each other, and you know, picking up a lot from each other. You know, it was a, a real learning experience. So it was a great time, a great time to start off, and obviously mm. it set me up 
set me up for life, really. Okay, well, we're, we're about to play another one of your songs now, Ever Reaching Out For You. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, this, uh, uh, what I was trying to do, I was, I was thinking, you know, I, I went through a bit of a kind of spiritual phase. I wouldn't call it a relig- religious phase, but a spiritual type of phase and about sort of connecting with the universe, connecting uh with nature and that sort of thing and 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 this is and it's a song it's like an anthemic sort of hymn like song about trying to connect uh you know with the universe if you like it was you know it's like a um a, you know spirit you know trying to you know extend my spiritual experience and sort of connect with with the with with uh, with what's going on in the universe ah oh, okay all right so here's ever reaching out for you by kenny wilson As I wander through the patterns of my youth Shapes colliding, shadows blocking out the truth Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Voices echo, thunder crashes from above As I reach for you to give me your sweet love Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you In my mind I think I've seen you many times And I've tried so hard to capture you in rhymes Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Beauty changes people broken down by time Cities perish and the sun can cease to shine Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you As I think about the times that I have had Some are beautiful but others make me sad Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you Ever reaching, ever reaching out for you. That was Ever Reaching Out For You by local music scene legend and multi-talented Kenny Wilson, who's my extra special guest on this week's show on Live Local and Loud. So, Kenny, um, so you're, you're a bit of a blogger on the choir as well, as well as your extra talents. What, what sort of things do you blog about? Uh, well, uh, I blog about anything at all, really. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a platform for 
my views on things and uh, and my thoughts on things and also it's a, it's a way of getting my music out there so there's quite a lot of my music on there but a lot of it is a is about my interest in the 1960s counterculture so there's a lot mm. of uh, about the hippies counterculture of the 60s which was obviously a big influence on the music at the time and a big influence on me wow um so uh there's quite a lot of information there uh, and uh you know, 2017, I, I was actually invited to give a lecture at the Bath Royal Literary and Scientific Society uh, about, you know, my ideas and my thoughts about the, the counterculture, which, uh, you know, went very well. So I was very pleased with that. Wow. So how can people find, uh, read your blog? How can they reach it? Uh, it well, it, the, the blog's at uh, kennywilson.org. So if you type in, you know, the, the URL, kennywilson.org, you should get there. So tell us now, you're doing a night uh, these days at the Exchange, aren't you? The Exchange Bar in Leicester, that's just opposite yeah. Curve. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, yeah, well, the, the Exchange Bar, I've actually done it. It's changed hands, it changed hands, you know, last year, I think, or the year before even. Uh, but uh, I've played there, well, since about, you know, 2018, 19, and uh, I used to do a regular sort of Friday there. There's a new bar manager there, uh, Eleanor, and I've actually gone back, you know, doing a doing a regular spot there. Right. I've been doing a, you know, the the first Friday of the month. I'm actually that I'm there on March the fourth. So if anyone's around Friday, March the fourth, I'm at the Exchange Bar. Brilliant. It's great. I mean, it's a great atmosphere. It's a really good venue. I think it, it, it really reminds me. Something about going back to the sixties. It reminds really reminds me of a sixties type venue. The you know the, the the actual bar and also the ba the basement is just like a, a parisian jazz club it's great you know so yeah i actually play, i play upstairs on the regular gig but uh it's a fantastic venue it's one of my favorites of all time actually and it, re it really? does it does really remind me of my roots in, in leicester when i went to a cafe called the chameleon and uh which was a very sort of bohemian sort of you know uh, left wing sort of place and it was great you know there's a lot of uh, poetry and music went on there it, it was taken over by the the guy from the manhattan 64 which is next door and uh, yeah but it, you know i mean it's getting it's getting back to what it was i think i think gradually I, I mean, it was actually you know one of the main venues for the for the comedy festival for example and uh so it, it is getting back into being a place of you know where things are happening that's right yeah, Brilliant. Yeah. so at your monthly um at your monthly gig that that's just you performing is it and uh well well that's uh, i think a lot of people prob have probably seen me over the years and it, it, it is my sort of regular kind of solo sing you know i sing and play i do a lot of uh dylan and, and lenny cohen stuff and 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 you know sort of contemporaries of those and also a, a real mix of songs you know mix of different songs and uh a, a big variety so it's basically me singing i do i do quite a few of my own songs as well so it's a mix of originals yeah and, uh, okay yeah. so that's on the next one's on the 4th of march is that right yeah it's 4th, 4th of march yeah 8 p.m it starts okay and then two days after that i see you're playing oh where are you playing on the 6th of march kenny uh 6th of march that's uh is a you know a very well known sort of singer called ann duggan have you heard of ann duggan yes so, uh, we spoke yeah. to her on on this very show it was a couple of weeks ago actually about her oh, right. yeah. yeah about her duke joint evenings at um yeah. in thringstone she is isn't she that's right yeah well that's what that, that's what i'm doing i mean it's, it's one of one of her dues it's uh it's the you know alan annie's duke joint is actually you know an ann duggan events and, yeah. uh, and i'm doing the, i'm doing the guest spot so uh, that sounds brilliant have you played at one of those before never have no no it's a, it's a great honor to be invited i think you know it's yeah a, it's, it's, a, it's a once a month event and uh and Anne, Anne Duggan and you know plays with her band and there's a guest spot you know so it, uh yeah i'm one of the guests basically and mm. uh you know I, i'm playing for about well you know three quarters of an hour something like that excellent uh, so so it should be great and that's that's at the uh charles oh i don't know what it's called now the charles booth center thringston thringston community center that is that's yeah, it and on, on the 6th of march that sounds brilliant that's a, another yeah. monthly event as well yeah that's right yeah and it's an afternoon one actually it's a three three o'clock start there as well okay brilliant so how many so how do people uh keep in touch with you kenny you've got numerous various websites have you got like a main one or facebook page yeah. how 
How do people <laughs> follow you? I, 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 I am I am sort of quite into websites, Jeremy. So, I mean, so. <laughs> they're all linked together. Yeah, there's they, all links to each of them. My main website is Kenny Wilson dot website. That's that that's its name. So it's got uh, links to uh, a lot of my videos and 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 songs. There's a a Spotify playlist. Although I'm thinking of joining in with uh, Neil Young and sort of uh, absconding from uh, Spotify. <laughs> Have you got a page on Facebook? Yeah, I've got a page on Facebook as well. Yeah, um, yeah. But, but also, I mean, there's another one, KennyWilson.net, which is which is called My Wonderful World of Music. It's got you know all the various bands I play with. Um, yeah. You know, so it obviously got the side of things, but I'll, I'll, there's also a page there for Parisian Swing, which you know. Yeah. It's about the sort of gypsy jazz and sort of French French type sort of thing. Okay, so um, that's Kenny Wilson dot net. If if you got somewhere yeah. that that people can go to that all these other ones lead off from? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I think I think the, yeah, that, that's probably that's probably it. Actually, that's got that's got most of the links on it. So Kenny Wilson dot net is the you know is like the the hub really. Oh, I see, I see, brilliant. Okay, Kenny. Uh, well, thank you very much for chatting to us today. Um, we'll just yeah. play another one of your songs. And have you got any any other plans from the future? So you've got your event at uh, Exchange going off. Uh, did you yeah. say is that the first Friday of each month, something like that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, at the moment it's there's also i mean there's actually i've got a very special night coming up on the 18th of march which is a a, a friday and uh i'm playing at a, 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 a pub called keepers lodge which is at, at beaumont lees and uh, mm. uh it should be a, it's, it's very special because I, i've been a teacher as well i was actually teaching in schools and, and one of the schools i worked in was uh, john ellis community college which isn't there anymore but it's actually a lot of the, the, the pupils came from Beaumont Lees and Mo Make Hill around there. Uh, and, and the reason I've got this gig is because, you know, one of my ex pupils actually asked them to, to, for me to play there. So I've got this feeling it's going to be a really good night with wow. a, lot of my, a lot of my ex pupils there. And a lot, of, a lot of those will be, well, in their 40s now. So, so, so where, is, where is the Keeper's Lodge? Uh, I've not heard of that one. The, the, the Keeper's Lodge is actually in Beaumont, Be Beaumont Shopping Centre. It's uh, oh, you know, where see. Tesco's is. It's you know, it's, you know it's, it's basically part of that. You know, it's it's near where the Beaumont sort of mo market, the market bit is at Beaumont Shopping Centre. Is it that pub that's near there? It's a pub, yeah, it's that pub. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. So it's the pub yeah. at Beaumont Lee's Shopping Centre. Great. Yeah, right, so that's eighteenth yeah. of March at eight eight p.m. You're right. That sounds that's like right. A, yeah, yeah. That sounds uh, a bit uh, I mean, that should all right well thanks very much for chatting to us today kenny um before yeah. we go we're about to play hang me oh hang me um yeah. can you just tell us a little bit about that song how did it come to be uh right well it's, it's interesting that because i mean one of the one of the main reasons i became a, a singer and songwriter was because i was absolutely amazed by bob dylan you know so you know he's mm. my big sort of hero obviously the, the big hit one of the big heroes for for, for bob dylan was it a guy called Dave Van Ronk, who was a singer in the Greenwich Village scene of the sixties, who until recently that you could you know could virtually hear none of his stuff. None of his stuff was available. But now, and again through Spotify, uh, it's possible. You know, a lot of his you know uh, songs have been released, and you can hear them. And it's one of his. It, it was a song I heard of his, which is a traditional sort of folk song, and which I thought was great. So I thought oh, I'll have a go at doing that. So that's. That's the most recent song I learned. I learned it last week and, and, and right. played it. And, and I'm, you know, I'm, and it's, you know, it's, it's not exactly the same as Dave Ram Ronk's version, but it is actually, you know, it's, it's that song and uh, it's a folk song basically. And uh, it's great. I really, I, I really enjoy it. So that's the most recent thing I've done. <laughs> I've done that was actually recorded last week. That was. Okay. So here's Kenny Wilson's take on the old classic Hang Me, Oh Hang Me. <laughs> Hang me, oh, hang me, and I'll be dead and gone. Hang me, oh, hang me, I'll be dead and gone. Wouldn't mind the hanging, but the laying in the grave so long, poor boy. I've been all around the world. I've been all around Cape Gerardo, parts of Arkansas. All around Cape Gerardo, parts of Arkansas. 
Cause oh God I'm hungry I could hide behind a straw poor boy I've been all around this world When upon the mountain There I made my stand Went upon the mountain There I made my stand Rifle on my shoulder And a dagger in my hand Poor boy I've been all around this world Hang me, oh hang me And I'll be dead and gone Hang me, oh hang me, I'll be dead and gone Wouldn't mind the hanging, but lay in the grave so long, poor boy I've been all around this world Put the noose around my neck, hung me up so high Put the noose around my neck, hung me up so high Last words I heard him say won't be long before you die, poor boy. I've been all around this world. Hang me or hang me and I'll be dead and gone. Hang me or hang me, I'll be dead and gone. Wouldn't mind the hanging, but the lead in the grave so long, poor boy. I've been all around this world. I've been all around this world. That was me chatting to the ultra talented local legend on the music scene, Mr. Kenny Wilson. So it was great chatting to him, catching up and seeing what's what and hearing about his shows at the Exchange Bar in Sunny Leicester. Okay, let's have a little bit of Prime, and one of their last songs was Bye Bye.
That was Prime. Bye bye. Sad to see them go. Um, but I'm sure we shall see their various band members coming back in different bands at various times. Anyway, here's a little bit of Our City Fires. Absolutely fantastic band to see live and had it all. our city fires um had it all absolutely fantastic band love them to pieces last thing i knew uh, at the beginning of january they were recording their new album so uh, i'd be interesting to see how that's going so that was our city fires had it all okay now it's time for a bit of revival i chatted to daz from revival uh, a couple of months ago here on this very show so here's one of his songs ride the wave
That was the wonderful Revival and Ride the Wave. Now to finish uh, this week's show off, let's have Steve Faulkner, one of his new songs, A Night by the Sea, and this is the rock version of A Day by the Sea, which I've played on previous shows. the wonderful local legend himself Steve Faulkner and A Night by the Sea of course I spoke to him on this very show a few weeks ago uh, so that was great uh, you can actually see him performing tonight on Thursday the 24th of February at the Elbow Room in Hinkley so that would be great if you can get yourself along to that so that's Steve Faulkner he's um, he's actually busy putting together a Brit pop covers band so yeah that'll be interesting to see that so yeah happy days that brings us to the end of another live local and loud with me kevin gorn i hope you enjoyed the show don't forget if you want to hear any interviews for from any past shows check out musicinleicester.co.uk you'll see a link to live local and loud podcasts on the right hand side 
Also, don't forget, if you want to see what's going on in the local music scene, check out musicinleicester.co.uk and we've got a very handy gig guide of some gigs coming up in sunny Leicestershire, as well as various reviews and stuff of past gigs. So have a great week. I shall see you next Thursday at 5 o'clock right here on Hermitage FM. So be good, look after yourselves, and I'll see you then.